initially it was one script with one uh, one very, very long script that followed the book. So normally a script is 100 pages, 90 to 100 pages, and this script was 200 pages. And it ended up being five hours and 40 minutes long when we finished it. And so we had to release it in three parts, but it was not the initial intention to release it that way. So it was filmed, um, it was filmed just like a regular movie with um, the characters' arcs being planned out exactly as in the book, uh, in one script. We both feel really, really fortunate um, because we, um, we were saying before with someone that we, we didn't chemistry test for this. So, which is kind of wild for a trilogy of romance films. Uh, so it, it could have been horrific but uh, props to Tosca for having such an incredible gut going these two people are gonna work really well together because yeah, from kind of the, the first moment we met, we went, oh right, this is someone that I can work with. And I've just found, uh, yeah, um, Julia has totally been my rock through this whole process. Someone that can meet me with the work and is talented and really present. Um, and you know all the things you want in an acting partner. I feel uh, really lucky. What I look for initially when we start casting is the first thing we do is we try and we have to find actors that look the part and that can act. That's that's the first thing. You have to be able to act and you have to look and embody this part. Um, Julia and Melanie do that hands down. They are they look just like Gabriel and Julia the way that they're described. And then I meet them and I meet them separately. I don't, they don't meet each other yet. I meet them separately and I have long conversations with them. And I tell them, you know, I, I try and find out from them, what do they like about the book? Why do they want to do this role? What's it going to be like working with me and what I expect from them as a director? And um, and then I describe our world and our fan base and how much this means to people. And when they respond in an extremely positive manner, they, they both of them responded, and, and a lot of my actors, when, when I talk to them about it, they love uh, the mandate of passion flicks. They have a high respect for women. They have a high respect for love and communication and they have a high respect for what we're adapting. They really love the story and they resonate with that character. And then the two of us really get along. And I feel the chemistry is very important for all, all people involved. I have to have chemistry with my actors in order for them to trust me and for them to be able to feel free to really portray themselves on screen the way that the characters need to, to be. Um, as I mentioned that they we follow the book religiously. So they have to know that when I say, I need you to touch her cheek here in the spot that they have to do it. And then I'm doing it for a reason. Um, and then they find meaning behind it. So with regards to Melanie and Julio, I had a, an immediate chemistry with them and they had, um, a love of these books and had read them. And Julio had read the script two or three times before even speaking with me and had notes and questions and was so curious about the role and, and was really determined to play this role and wanted this opportunity and loved the story. And, um, and then with Melanie, Melanie read all three books, um, now four, but she read all three books um, before we finally, uh, move forward on on having a conversation and and uh and agreeing uh on on the character's arc and um and the strength of julia and so with that and with those two um elements with those many elements involved um i knew that they would have chemistry and they did they got along really well and they both have an incredible work ethic um, which i think is key when it comes to making these movies a determination to bring bring these characters to life in the most honest form. I've, I've you know, I've been, pay, I've been paid, luckily, because otherwise it would have been, 
<laughs> no, she's she's amazing to work with. I really, really, really love and enjoy the time that we spent together on set. She is a tremendous worker, a uh, tremendous uh, actress, and 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 a fantastic human being to to work with. She's she's very, um, you know. We were, we were, as Melanie said, we were not chemistry tested. Uh, so uh, this shows how Tosca is very good on, on choosing people. She really has a strong, strong gut. Um, and, uh, you know, it was very risky for her because this movie is not one shot. It's a long marathon. It's a, it's a long, long process between two people that are on screen 99% of the time. So uh to not have a good chemistry with somebody that you don't know and you're going to work with for such a long time would have been a disaster for the entire project not just for us but luckily we were we were fortunate enough to let's say find each other and we found each other in the same work ethic that we have uh and i think we we felt we felt that in the very beginning that we that we had uh that we did reading together. I still remember uh, that day and I felt really relieved after I had yeah. that reading because I was like, oh, okay, this is gonna be good. Because you don't know what to expect, you know? It's not that easy. You know, acting is of course part of the process. You can act, you can, you can let's say fake uh, that you're close to something, that you're close to somebody, that you love something. But at the end, if it's not there, if it's if it if if there's no respect and 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 you know um, uh, if there's not a real bond, a real chemistry, there's a spark that it will be missing, and um, people feel it. You know, people feel it, and so I think that we were fortunate enough to luckily have it. So, yeah was great you know i think the, the 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 thing that we like to thread in here is that we all have a great respect for the work and we have a determination to make these movies excellent um i strive for perfection and so does uh julio and melanie so it was not too hard to have that in common when it comes to other things in common i mean we have a love of Italy. All of us have a love of Italy. And um, so it was just a pleasure to go and spend some time with Giulio in his home country. And he took us around and it just, you know, really made him so excited and happy to share that with us. So we love to explore. We love to um, uh, really um, find reasons and, and honesty and truth in all conversation and love to communicate. So, you know, other things in common not not so much maybe you know wine and food is always a good one <laughs> but um, i'll take that any time fortunately they love that too so um but uh, but yeah just a determination to do justice to the story um i i think you know you do your your process as an actor working out um the genesis of where your characters come from and from from you're working from that place and using you as the channel that that, that happens through but so much of that that chemistry and the characters meeting is just about two actors being really present and open with each other um and so because it was such we filmed uh like it was a wild west we filmed quickly we had a lot to cover it's a huge story it's a much longer script it's probably double a normal feature length script that we we were doing so um so much of it was about just having to have this other person and go i am here with you we are in this moment together and we're just going to let everything else go and be here for each other so um i think the there was something automatically heightened uh, because of the the needs of the piece, really. Yeah, you know, you remember you remember that game that is called Tetris. Um, yes, of course. Tetris. So basically, as an actor, you need to make sure that your piece it's perfectly cut it. You know, 
uh, it needs to have a specific shape but as much as you can work on your side not necessarily not necessarily your side is gonna match with the other person I remember that uh, the we went we uh, arrived to uh, when where we were supposed to shoot a week before and uh, me and Melanie used to uh, rehearse a lot and we were walk we were walking uh, into this big uh, cold grass field uh, at the back of the hotel you remember that yeah. walking up and down it was very cold and we were rehearsing together together and I remember that I thought to myself I know exactly what I'm doing because I because I've been obsessed you know I'm a very obsessive person so the moment I start working on a script I I'm obsessed about it so I work on the script for a month and a half every day six seven hours so I knew exactly everything but of course I have to face the accent I have to face you know some uh, criticism not criticism some um, 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 some some um, things that were um, difficult to deal with for me spe specifically but again I was there and I was walking and I remember clearly that I felt that she was on the same path that I was and she was there with me for me and I, I felt, you know, I felt safe. Thank you. Lovely to meet you. Oh, oh. <laughs> Lovely to meet you too. Hey, she's mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's always been you, Gabriel.